Welcome back. Today we're going to be making a small component for our follow focus. Now, some of the simpler or cheaper ones would put a handle directly on the focus ring like this. While it does work, uh, the range of movement is a bit awkward, so what we really want is to be able to turn it from the side. So that requires a 90 degree bevel gear that will allow us to turn it from the side. So that's what we're going to be printing today. Let's go into our CAD. To create the gear, I just used this simple plugin, which you can find the link in the description. And since I didn't need any gear reduction or complex uh, capabilities, I just duplicated those two gears, aligned them by eye, and added a simple holder with two shafts that would hold the gear. Here's our 3D printed gear assembly. While the gears turned out fairly alright, the holder ran into some issues. As I decided to print it in one part lying flat on the print bed, the bottom part of the cylinders got flattened out as a result. Since this was done on a 0.2mm layer height, I thought that uh, increasing it would solve the problem of these flattened out parts. So I printed a new one with double the resolution, but surprisingly the result was actually worse. It seems that the uh, coarser layer heights actually helped the cylinder hold its shape, while the uh, finer ones just essentially collapsed on themselves. So if you compare the two cylinders, the one with the coarser resolution is actually the smoothest. Now, if you want to get the best possible shaft, printing it vertically would be the ideal solution, but then you'd have to find a way to hold them together. But I found out that the coarse shaft actually made the gears spin reasonably well, and since it was going to be manually operated in any case, it didn't matter too much if there was a bit of friction, as I would be using this by hand. Now, let's see if the two gears mesh and rotate well. Yeah, removing that little strand. Now, I gotta put two caps on the end there so they're well secured. As I found out, the uh, simplest way is to just put two caps at the end there and press fit them into place. With a bit of pressure, they're secure. Now, for the other one, which is a bit longer, as I decided to put a bit of a gap to compensate for the tolerances of the 3D printed material. And with a bit of pressure, the gears are in place. And there they are, turning nicely. Not too much friction, it's relatively smooth. Yeah, with the addition of a handle and a, a case to hold the middle part, this will be a fine mechanism for the rest of our fault focus. Now in the next part, we're going to be exploring the way to attach this bevel gear to another gear that will sit on the focus ring. Now we'll also need to find a way to fasten the handle to the back of the bevel gear, but I'll be covering all that in the following videos, so see ya next time.